Okay, I hope all is going well today and you're having a beautiful blessed Friday. Today I want to come and hang out and share some notes with you about being a lady. First of all, I have to say these are not my notes. These are notes that, well these are my notes, but these are notes that I got from a conversation that was, that was taught on Facebook. I mean, on YouTube. And so... I've taught these notes before, but I think they deserved revisiting. So we are gonna do that right now. Um, the first thing that I want to address is that we should always dress for success. And by the way, this message can be um, both taken seriously by ladies and gentlemen. So number one, dress for success always always know the dress code a dress code is not only about the way that you look but a lot of times it's about the way that a venue looks because a owner of a venue may have a vision for how that whole venue looks and that venues fit that 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 vision of that venue includes the patrons that come to that venue. Number two, don't be late and don't overstay your welcome. We have to deal with the first part of that. Don't be late. Do not be that man or that woman who tells somebody, oh, I'm on my way, five more minutes and you're barely jumping in the shower because your time is as equally valuable as the time of the person that you're making wait. It is no more valuable than theirs. So you should never act like it is. Um, number two, I mean, number three, don't have a friend tell somebody that you're gonna be late, do it yourself. Um, so that means like if you're gonna go to a dinner party and you got off work late because your boss called a meeting. You do not want to be that person that says, Hey, Jane, can you call Sarah for me and say that I'm going to be half an hour late because my boss called a meeting and I'm barely getting out of here. You want to be that man or that woman that does the courtesy themselves. Um, number four, stand up straight. And I skipped this one on my last delivery on, on Facebook, but number four is stand up straight and sit up straight. I know that I, right now I'm kind of slouchy, but I do have a pillow behind me. That's kind of popping me up, but always, always try to stand up straight in public. You could do whatever you want in your own home. But in public, always try to look put together and stand up straight. Um, number five has to do with conversation. People with small minds talk about people. People with average minds talk about things. And people with great minds talk about events. So you want to be that person with a great mind and talk about events. Okay, so that leads me to number six, and it's kind of jumping off number five, refrain from gossip. You do not want to be that person who finds a gossip train, essentially, and joins it. If you find yourself immersed in gossip, you should acknowledge it by nodding your head, looking somebody in the eye, but at all costs, keep your mouth shut. Do not add to what's being said. Because in the nature of being at that table, you are in the conversation already. 
but you don't you do not have to make yourself such a part of a conversation that you add to it and so another thing that has to do with conversation is we have to give and take we can't do all the talking in a conversation and so the next point is has to deal with um being at a table and courtesies at a table you never ever ever do not ever 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 talk about what you are eating or what somebody else is eating or your weight at a table so this means like not even that girly small talk like oh honey i'm not eating that because carbs make me fat or are you really eating that? Is that on your diet plan? Seriously? Aren't you on that exercise plan that you were talking about? Um, so do not do that. And the next big one that, um, that I want to address is do not have your cell phone on the table when you are in a group or one on one situation. And on Facebook, I told the story of a friend who was so immersed in her cell phone that I had to ask her to put it down. And at that moment that I asked her to put it down, I felt like I sounded like my dad. And so that was not fun. Um, and the next one, lend assistance and think about others. So... When you see somebody struggling, and this is very, very important, especially if you see someone like me with a piece of equipment that is struggling, always ask if you could lend assistance. Never assume that you could lend assistance. And so that leads me to the other point in lending assistance is that you should always ask if you could lend assistance when cleaning up at a party. And when you're clean, when you are at a party, you should never overstay your welcome. I don't know if I addressed that yet, but you should never ever overstay your welcome. If a party ends at a certain time, you should make your way towards the door about five minutes early and be one of the first people to leave because you don't want to be that last person to leave that makes the hostess think that you're waiting for something else to happen. And so the last point that I want to leave you with that everything in this message has been leading up to is leave people better than you found them. You do not want to be that person that makes somebody say, oh my God, I'm glad they're gone. Like when, when you drop them off and they're finally in their house and they close the door behind them, you do not want to say, you don't, you do not want them to say about you, oh my goodness, I'm finally glad they're gone. That was such a long hangout or such a long conversation. You want them to say, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to hang out with that person again. So I hope that this finds you well. And I hope that if anybody in your life needs to hear it, please feel free to share it. I welcome it. Um, and God bless you guys. I love you. And please be safe today. I know in a lot of places it's really hot. So drink a lot of water. Be safe. And Know that I love you and I'll be back to I'll be back next week with another set of sermon notes from our new sermon series. I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.